Hey ladies, my name is Rebecca Wirtz and I am a therapist here in Dallas, Texas, and I am a fellow sister of Christ and yours, and I'm so honored to share during May's Mental Health Awareness Month. Listen, this is a topic that is near and dear to my heart, both as a believer and as a mental health professional. Um, and I think the reason why is because as a believer, I can speak for me growing up, I felt that I couldn't really process my emotions or I feel like I wasn't allowed to feel my emotions because I was supposed to be this person of faith and I had to have it all together and I came to soon recognize that that was not always the case. It's not necessarily true. And so one of my hopes is that we are able to create a balance between our faith and our wellness and I'm so excited to share with you today. Um, as I thought about today, I could not help but to go to Philippians chapter 4. It's a very familiar passage written by Paul to the Philippians, and yet there's so much in there I think that we can gain and benefit from. And so I'm going to read this passage from the uh, Passion Translation, and it is going to be verse um, 6 through 9. And it says, Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day. Offer your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell him every detail about your life, and then his wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real, honorable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind, and fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God, praising him always. Put into practice the example that you have um, heard from me or seen in my life, and God of peace, the God of peace, will be with you in all things. I absolutely love this. I grew up hearing this, but it hit me so hard this week when I found myself in such an overwhelming and anxious place. And it took a sister of mine to encourage me and tell me to renew my mind. It may not change my situation, but I can renew my mind and my perspective and how I see my situation. And I love how Paul is writing about this. He's encouraging the Philippians to rejoice and to pray and to be in gratitude. Meanwhile, he is in jail. He's behind bars. And so he is literally showing them how to think and dwell on the things of God, even in the most difficult situation. And so my prayer for you is that you don't invalidate or dismiss your feelings and your emotions, but you don't dwell on the difficult times to the point where you are unable uh, or unable to navigate your day, to get through your day. And so I want to give you some tangible ways that you can put this word were into your life, work it into your life. Number one, Paul says, don't be pulled in so many different directions. Listen, we're doing so much in life, but take a moment out your day, preferably in the beginning of the day, to just be with God, be in his presence. Number two, when you do that, pray to him. Prayer is just talking, communicating with your father, and he knows what you need before you even before you even ask. So pray give gratitude, be in gratitude, but also let him know what's going on. Tell him every detail of your life. And number three, renew your mind. Fix your mind on the things above and not the things here below. Fix your mind on the things that are authentic and real and honorable and beautiful and renew your mind. I hope that these are some steps that you can take as you navigate this month and every day of your life. And I pray that you are enriched and that you are empowered. And I look forward to all that is to come in your life. God bless.